Okay, folks. So here we have something a little different for you today. Um, we're going to take this uh, Walther Kellen Magnum, which is in uh, 25 caliber, 6.35 millimeter. Uh, this is actually, I believe, a Hatsan made in uh, Turkey, but of course, marketed by Walter. Um, it's a brake barrel. As you can see, a brake barrel here. I've got a Optima three by nine scope. And uh, it's a really neat little, little rifle. So it's got what they call a little quieter, noise quieter attachment here, but it also helps in cocking the rifle. These things are really hard to cock, not for uh, kids, obviously, and it weighs about eight pounds. I'm sure it's pretty heavy. So what we're gonna do is take these Crow Magnum pellets, one of these. Um, this happens to be a hollow point. There you can see the hollow point. And we're gonna take this and we are gonna see what happens when you shoot it at a half-loaded can of Barbasol shaving cream. All right, let's see what happens. So here is the results. We have an entry here, and you can see it goes all the way through, and we have an exit there. I purposely shot at the bottom of the can where it still had plenty of the shaving cream left, and it did go completely through, and it hit this uh, two by four didn't stick, but it went in and this was a wet two by four. We just had some vicious thunderstorms and rain out here. This thing got pretty wet, made it a little more dense. And uh, as you can see, it hit pretty hard. So what can we conclude? I think we can conclude that you cannot stand behind a can of Barbasol and be shot at with a 25 caliber air rifle, air piston, and be totally safe. It would still hurt. And with that, folks, life is good here in Idaho. Live free or die. Until next time, thanks for watching.